All right, here's another story with words and pictures by Mo Willems. It's the pigeon. I love pigeon. Pigeon is so funny. The pigeon has to go to school. Come on. Oh, pigeon. Look, there's all the empty chairs and desks. We've got a purple chair and a green chair and a red chair and a pink chair and a purple chair and a brown chair and an orange chair and a blue chair and a yellow chair. Do you go to school? Are the chairs there different? At Crockett School, some of the chairs are different, but most of them are the same. It says, oh, now when you read, you read from the left to the right. So we're gonna read this page. Wait, don't read that title. And it's uh, dedicated to my teachers, past, present, and future. They, and look, he's flapping his wings. They're flapping their wings so you can't read it. And you know what it says? The pigeon has to go to school. Words and Pictures by Mo Williams. It's a Hyperion Books for Children. <gasps> Too late, rats. Oh, so disappointed. Little feathers fell off even. Why do I have to go to school? It's leaning, so that means italics. So that's an emphasis to say. That's why I stretched it out. That's a way to emphasize it. If another trusted adult has read this book to you, they might have emphasized it a little differently. I love the big step forward pigeons making here. I already know everything. Go on, ask me a question. Any question. All right, Pika Pink, you have a question? Mm-hmm. What's the question? What's the Earth circumference? Ooh, that's a big number. Circumference has to do with how big and round it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, a little frustrating. Well, I know almost everything. So you don't know the Earth circumference? Well, I have to admit, I don't know it offhand either. Does school start in the morning? Because you know what I'm like in the morning. It is not pretty. Like that pigeon. Pigeon, you're stomping around. Goodness. I wish I was a little chick again. A little itty bitty not going to school, baby, baby pigeon. Look how giant that head is. <laughs> the head is even bigger than the body. And there pigeon is with a bus, blushing with affection. What if I don't like school? What if I really don't like school like it? What if I really, really don't like it? What if? I like how he's flapping. They're flapping. They're so anxious. <laughs> it's an exclamation point. What if the teacher doesn't like pigeons? Oh, that's really what you're worried about, isn't it? That they won't like you. You'll be okay. Teacher will like you just fine. They'll, they're there to help you. And the stuff. What about all the stuff? There is so much stuff to learn. Well, there is, but you take it one step at a time. What if I learn too much? My head might pop off. I will assure you, Pigeon, that has never happened to anyone in the history of living memory. I'm scared. Oh, that's okay, Pigeon. It's okay to be scared. 
Everybody gets scared Tom times. Mm-hmm. Isn't that right, Pika Pink? Mm-hmm. That's right. Everybody gets scared sometimes. It's okay. And you can just ask your trusted adult for help. <gasps> what will happen at school? Ah! <laughs> Screaming over here and over here and covering their face and contorting their body and yelling. And, oh my goodness. You are a very dramatic pigeon. What if there is math or numbers? There will be, Pigeon. There will be. It's okay, though. You're, you, you, that's, that's part of life. Why does the alphabet have so many letters? Because that's how we decided to make the sounds. But if we made it for each word, there'd be even more. So, for example, Chinese has 10,000 characters or more. And that's just what you need to be able to read fluently. Because they have whole words. In a, in a character versus just the letter A. Reading can be hard with one big eye. I'm pretty sure you have two eyes, but yes, it's okay. But you just keep, you keep trying and you get better and better. It's all right to have trouble. What about lunch? They'll feed you lunch and they'll give you time that if you pack lunch, you can eat it too. What will the other birds think of me? Well, you know what? Anybody who's good will know how wonderful you are. And you can talk to each other to communicate. Will finger paint stick to my feathers? It might, but you'll wash off. What's up with those heavy backpacks? I'm a fragile bird. Be you can ask for help if it's actually too heavy. Maybe have less things in there. You shouldn't have very much in your backpack there, Pigeon. The unknown stresses me out, dude. Yes, but there, there's ways to cope with stress. For us to practice and think about what's going to happen and talk it through. And if you're afraid about what could happen, talk about what's likely to happen. And... Do things that are likely talk about what would be right and good to do. Like, for example, getting messy with finger paint, you'll wash your hands off. If it gets on your clothes, you'll just wash those clothes once we get a chance. It'll be okay. There should be a place to practice those things with experts to help you, and books, and classrooms, and other birds to work and play with. Maybe a playground. Mm, you know what you're describing? What do you think Pigeon's describing? I think Pigeon's describing a school. Is that what you think? Let's see. Oh, that is school. Mm-hmm. Light bulb for idea. Mm-hmm. Well, how am I supposed to get there anyway? You know, you make a lot of excuses, Pigeon, but don't you worry. That's range two. <gasps> what? 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 Oh, Pigeon is so excited. How does Pigeon feel about buses? That's right, Pigeon loves buses. Step aside! Coming through! The Pigeon has to go to school. Yeah, don't run to the school bus. That's not safe. But it is fun to ride on the school bus. And look, all of the empty chairs have little birdies now. The duckling in the green chair. The Pigeon in the red chair. These tropical birds in the purple and pink. Looks like a chick in the brown chair. A penguin in the purple chair. I think that's an owl in the orange chair. Is that a... I'm not sure. Is that a duck? I'm not sure what kind of bird that is. Also not kind of sure what kind of purple bird this is. Yellow and blue. In the different chairs. That was fun. I hope you enjoyed this story. The pigeon has to go to school. By Words and Pictures by Mo Willems. And 
remember, even though things can be scary and there's a lot of questions, there's ways to make them easier and everything we practice at. It is good and normal to have trouble first time and ask for help. You just get better and better over time. That's how reading and numbers and everything else works. You have a great day and hopefully you enjoyed the story. Take care.